So you might be wondering why there's so many screens in this coach. This screen up here shows you all the information for your coach, also lets you control various parts of the vehicle. All right, so the basic thing to look at is the standard screen is gonna look like this. This is your home screen. If you wanna do anything in conjunction with batteries or uh, our inverter, the Xantrex inverter, you're gonna go to the little lightning symbol here, tap on that, and that'll give you this screen. This is your basic operation of electrical on your vehicle. You have the inverter, you can enable or disable it, depending on if you wanna use uh, the inverter or if you wanna use everything 12 volt because you're trying to save uh, power. You can use your charger as well. You can turn that on and off if you wanna also conserve power and use it as pass-through or if you want the charge to actually replenish what you've taken out of the battery. There's a line diagram letting you know the direction of flow of power on the uh, Firefly system. And in the far right corner, you can see the details. It'll give you all of the uh, pertinent information on each battery. You have two batteries in this uh, ISOTA 3. Basic information that you're gonna see is whether the battery is taking a charge or giving off a charge, whether you're using power or storing it. The volts, so where your, your standard uh, volts are lying for each battery. The amount of current that is being taken out of it or given to, positive number is going to be put back into the battery. Negative is going to be pulling out of the battery. The estimated time that you can use the batteries under your current configuration. So if you're pulling power from the battery, this is the estimated time that you can continue to do that with the batteries that you have. And then you have a capacity time. It gives you what your general capacity of battery is broken up over two batteries. So for the top one, we have the inverter enabled right now so that we can use several different things. If we hit the disable button, now it has disabled the inverter and we no longer have invert loads. Everything is running strictly on DC battery 12 volt power. So the next thing we can look at is the actual inverter settings themselves. You hit the Xantrex settings. This should be pre-configured at factory, but if there's anything that needs to be changed or tweaked, you can see all of the values. One of the more important ones is on the next screen. Battery type. We were using LFP, lithium iron phosphate. We have changed that for our larger batteries, we want to go to a custom setting. Because they're smart batteries, they take care of themselves, they know where they need to be. We need to make sure that they get the higher voltage because they're they're a little bit too smart sometimes and they'll, they'll turn off if we use the LFP function. So the absorb volts need to be at 14.6 and the float needs to be at 14.4. If you go to inverter control, that's where you can actually make all of your adjustments through plus and minus, and then you just save your, your settings when you're done. And that's just the standard uh, inverter. The most pertinent information is going to be in the battery area, which we also have in the e-gen screen here. It just lets you know how low on voltage you are. If you get anything uh, significantly lower than like a 10 volts or 11 volts range, you'll see it here. Uh, and that'll be something to, uh, to look at. 